What's up guys? This is going to be one of the biggest forex trading tips you've seen for this entire year. There's no cap on this. There's no BS on this. You guys are going to see on this particular video that this is going to be one of the most important concepts of forex trading that is going to ensure that you become profitable this year. The concept I'm going to be sharing on this particular video is going to change the way you see forex trading forever. This is a trading psychological tip that will change the way you see forex forever and the change is going to be for good. I'm tired of seeing people not being able to make profits in forex trading. I'm tired of seeing people going in circle where they learn something they are unable, or they are unable to implement it. They come tomorrow, they're still doing the same thing over and over and yet they are not pro I am tired of seeing that. That is why on this video today, let's not talk about, let's forget about strategies, let's forget about uh, setups, let's forget about charts, let's talk about you, let's talk about trading psychology. And a very important aspect about trading psychology is you reprogramming yourself to be in a shoe where I am. Reprogramming yourself to be in the position of a profitable forex trader all right and this is a psychological tip which i'm going to be giving you guys on this video which will change the way you see forex forever i did a similar video on tiktok which blew which went viral and i was like okay my 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 youtube fans or my youtube subscribers can be left out so make sure you stay to the end of this video and if you like content like this make sure you smash the thumb up on the video all right, so I'm going to be giving you guys two scenarios, right? Let's go straight into the video. I'm just going to be using two people. You can see this guy is person number A and this guy is person number B. So these two people all have strategies. Let's just assume, let's not even talk about whatsoever strategy you are using or let's just pick any strategy and use as an example, right? So let's just say they are using the support and resistance or the Fibonacci strategy, both, both people, right? Person number A is having a strategy, let's just say support and resistance strategy, and person number B is having the Fibonacci strategy. Let's, I'm going to give you guys these two scenarios. By the end of the scenarios, you'll be able to see why we, we remain on top of the game, why we still make millions in forex trading, even, even after we blow accounts or even after we have losses. So person number A is, having, uh, is using support and resistance strategy, Person number B is using the Fibonacci strategy. Perfect. Person number A uh, has a strategy which gives him a risk to reward or which gives him a win rate of 50%. Meaning out of every 10 trade, he wins five and lose five. So that's a win rate of 50%, right? And a risk to reward of one is to one. Does it make sense? So he has a risk to reward of uh, he has a strategy that gives him a risk to reward of one is to one and it gives him a win rate of 50 percent person number two has a strategy that even gives him a lesser win rate so person number two his strategy let's just take the fibonacci strategy for an example gives him a win rate of only 40 percent meaning out of every 10 trade this guy is only able to have four winners and six of them are losers but he has a risk to reward of one is to two meaning if he's risking one dollar he's going for two dollars if he's risking one hundred dollars he's going for two hundred dollars if he's risking one percent of his account he's going for two percent of his account if he's risking one banana he's going for two bananas all right that's person number two while person number a if he's risking one dollar he's going for one dollar if he's risking one hundred dollars he's going for one hundred dollars if he's risking one percent he's going for one percent but he's having a high rate of maybe he's having a high win rate of about 50 percent meaning 50 percent of his trades are, uh, are winners and 50 of his trades are losers okay if i put these two people person number a who is having an accuracy of 50 percent or a win rate of 50 percent and uh, a risk to reward of one is to one and person number two who has a lesser win rate of 40 percent but a risk to reward of one is to two. Which person are you going to choose? Please choose wisely. Let me know in the comment section. Please choose wisely. Which person among these two traders? This is going to let you guys know why we still make money. Even after your strategy can be the crapless on earth. If you understand this concept, trust me, my friend, you start making money in Forex trading. So from these two people, you guys can see these are the two people on the screen. Which person are you going to pick? 
Are you going to pick person number A or person number B? Perfect. I know most of you guys, most of you guys, that's the reason why, the reason why we have only 1% of us on the top who are making money in Forex trading is because 99% of you guys will obviously pick person number A. Let me explain why you guys will be able to pick person number A. Why? Because you guys want instant gratification. You want your results. You want to see the results immediately. That's why you'll be able to go for trades that have lesser risk to reward. You'll be able to go for trades that have lesser target, like maybe risk to reward of one is to one. You know that, okay, if I'm going for 50 pips, if my stop loss is 50 pips, I want my take profit to be 50 pips so that I get out of this trade. Or if I'm risking 10 pips, I want to go for 10 pips so that I get out of this trade. You want instant gratification. You want those. You are not patient. You, you don't have the time. You want to see that money. You don't want to go through the process. That's why 99% of people will go for person or strategy, person uh, number one, who is having an accuracy of 50% and a risk to reward of one is to one. Person, many people will still go for person number A because they can hear that this person is having many winners. They want, the main, their main goal is just to have a winner. Let me tell you guys in Forex, in Forex trading, more money is made waiting than actually trading so if you think maybe the more money we make in forex trading that's when we are busy we are busy on the chart we did no even when i travel sometimes and i move from place to place and driving and doing stuff the money is still printing because i already understand the concept that more money is made in forex trading waiting than actually trading so that how does it apply to you as a trader when you are able to have a trade which is having a good risk to reward all right that's what i'm saying many people will just go for trader number a or trader number one because they they they, they can hear that this person is having many winners but the fact that that person is having many winners doesn't mean that person is going to be profitable at the end of the day all right so let's go now to person number two which is where i belong which is where the one percent of us belong which is where the, where the one percent of us who are actually making and cashing out in forex trading belong so on person number two i have a win rate of 40 percent meaning out of every 10 trade six of them are losers and just four of them are winners can you see that somebody will just start oh most of his even when most people join my vip telegram community they'll be able to take the first signal the first two signals and they go they, maybe it's a, it's a loser they will go on the internet oh i can't believe the whole this the whole goal of, of all people how can the whole goal of, of all people that is having a name in everywhere in the industry how can i take his signal and it's a loser i'll just laugh i'll just like bro you have a long way to go you just took trades you just took two trades they are all losers and you are already complaining what about you understanding that you only be able to calculate or assess your performance after a reasonable sample size and after a reasonable sample size with a good risk to reward you always come out as a winner let me explain let me explain why i'm saying that so with my four trade of six of them being losers and four of them being winners the four of them that are winners remember i'm going for a risk to reward of one is to two that is what is giving me an edge over the market. You only make money in forex trading when you are able to have something that can give you an edge over the market. The fact that my system can give me a risk to reward of at least one is to two means even if I have six of those trades that are losers and just four that are winners, bro, I'm still going to be a millionaire. I'm still going to be buying more cars. I'm still going to be buying more houses. I'm still going to be buying more assets. Why? Because I've already understand that when it comes to forex trading, bro, I'm not going to win all the trades. I'm not going to compound all the accounts. I'm not going to win all the profit accounts. I'm going to blow some. I'm going to lose some of the accounts. I'm going to lose some of the trade. But how big are my winners? That's the main question. How big are my winners? Are my winners big enough? To be able to bulldoze all my losers because even if i have six losers on a row and then just four winners remember those four winners i'm going for a risk to reward of one is to two meaning on the winning side i'll be able to make what i'll be able to make two times four i'll be able to make eight percent of my account then on the losing side remember i'm risking one percent of my account i'll be able to lose one times six which is six percent so what is my net at the end of the day or maybe at the end of the week plus two percent because i've subtracted what i lose from what i gain so if i subtract six percent from eight percent i still ended the day with plus two percent let's just assume that they are took all the trades in one day bro i still ended the day with plus two percent i'm still up with plus two percent 
Or oh, even if within a month, you were a swing trader and you took all those trades within a month. Bro, even after your losers, your friend will be able to come and see all your computer is red, all your trades are red. The person will just say, hey, how is this? Hi, is Mr. John wasting his time? Oh, how is trader number two wasting his time? I can see all his trades are in red. He's losing everything. Not knowing that you are still making money. You are still a millionaire at the end of the day. You will still be able to buy assets. You will still be able to buy cars. You will still be able to buy houses at the end of the day. Because of what? Because of your rock solid trading psychological tips, which you've mastered, out, right? Because of your rock solid trading psychological mastery. Because of that, you still come out at the end of the day as a winner. Because trust me, go to a bank, bro. Just go to a bank and show them. Prove them that you have a strategy that can give you 2% consistency, that can consistently give you 2% profit every month and that trader or that bank will promise they will promise you or they will be able to employ you to trade for them as simple as that i've been approached by many banks who have come up to me they were like go off so long as you've proved to us that with your track record you have a strategy we have or you have strategies that can be able to net you two percent plus per month we want you to trade for us but i'm a private trader i will prefer to trade my own pro my own profit or my own account i'll prefer to trade my own capital but trust me, trust me, if you have a system that can give you just 2% profit consistently every month, bro, you'll be a multi-millionaire. So can you see, between these two traders, trader number one and trader number two, many people will go for trader number one. That's why the industrial standard says 90%, 99% of people don't end up making money in forex trading. And only 1% of people are in the top 1%. Only 1% of people are able to make money in Forex trading like us. That's why it's very lonely up there. There's even a music that says it's very lonely on the top, right? Because it's very, very, it's very, very lonely up there where we are because just very few, 1% of people have been able to get there where they can be able to make profit consistently in the market. So I want you guys to be able to understand this concept of trading psychology and use these two scenarios. Use these two scenarios to be able to assess your trading performance, to be able to assess the strategy you use in trading, to be able to assess the system you use in trading so that you can always have a system that gives you an edge over the market. And part of uh, some of the points which you need to incorporate in your system is knowing that you never take a trade that has a risk to reward of at least one is to two. Meaning all your trades, please, all your trades must have a risk to reward of one is to two and above. That's, that's, that's it. That's the rule. You never go for a trade that has a risk to reward of at least one is to two. With a risk to reward of one is to two, some even go for a risk to reward of one is to three, one is to four. But just go for a one is to two and know that even if you are just toasting a coin, even if you just enter the office sometimes, right, your trading station and you are toasting a coin, you might be lucky to have five heads and five tails. Let's just say heads stands for win. You'll be able to win 5% five or five times, or five times, which is 10% of your account, and you lose five times. So you've lost 5% and made 10%. You are still up with plus 10%. What if even after toasting a coin, maybe you have six of them losers and four of them winners, you are still up. What if you are even lucky now, you have seven of them winners and just three losers. You just made 14% and lost 6%. So you've ended the day with plus 9%. That's why last week with NFP, we net the week, we closed the week with plus 13%. If you're in my VIP community, you can testify. I know you are. You guys are watching. Let me know in the comment section. This is YouTube. If I'm lying, let me know in the comment section. No, my VIP members are watching. VIP on the day of NFP, we net the day with plus 13% of our account. We had many trades, we had many losers, and we had few winners. But we still end the day with plus 13%. All the math was there. I'm going to be able to look for the screenshot to show you guys. So that you guys can be able to see. You guys can be able to see screenshots like this. This was just on my VIP today. I even posted. This was just my VIP today on the results we had. You can see all the TPs. TPs, TPs, TPs. And most of these TPs that are hitting are TPs of risk to reward of 1 is to 2. Meaning even if the next 10 or 15 trades are losers, bro, I'm still going to be on top. I'm still going to be a millionaire. So try to incorporate this into to your system and make sure you have a system that will be able to, with your system, whatsoever strategy you're using, never go for any trader has a risk to reward of at least one is to two. I mean, if you are risking 1% of your account, you must be going for, the setup should be able to allow you to target 
at least two percent of your account if you are going for ten dollars the system must be able to allow you to target twenty dollars you must have a risk to reward of one is to two and trust me even if you have you have seven losers on the row or six losers on the row and just few winners bro you will still be making money at the end of the day because you've been able to discover that secret that you need to be able to have a trading system which can give you an edge and it is that edge in the market that particular edge that your system can give you that will make you a millionaire at the end of the day so if you've gotten some value so far as always make sure you leave a thumb up on the video and if you have any question about trading psychology about this particular topic make sure you drop on the comment section and i will reply to all the comments on this particular uh, video if you want to use my recommended brokers my recommended prop firms check the links on the video description and if you want me to mentor you one-on-one -on, -one on how to trade forex from a to z beginner to pro check out the link below to enroll in golov university to become my mentee if you want to use petrix pro which is the most viral and the most profitable forex robot now also check the link below to use Petrix Pro. Click here to watch a video that I made related to trading psychology. Check out this playlist, which are videos which I've already programmed for you. Click here to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And I'll see you guys on these other videos. Peace.